The plan for this morning was to wake up at 7 a.m. because it's Sunday, but I got myself into a right little like I just have a my, let's restart this. The plan for this morning was to wake up at 7 a.m. to have a bit more of a lying because it is Sunday, but my body clock is literally so used to waking up at 6 a.m. now. Every morning I wake up at like 5.55, so the time is 6.10, black coffee, 15 milligrams of your himbine has gone in, vaso burn has been applied, 30 minutes of cardio is about to go down, I drink the coffee then go for a quick walk around the block which is about 10 minutes, come back, let the himbine sort of like kick in and then I do the 30 minutes of low intensity steady state cardio, we're wearing my polar heart rate monitor, keeping my heart rate between 120 to 140 beats per minute. Card at the moment is four days a week, so I do it on Saturdays and Sundays, and then Wednesdays and Thursdays, and that will probably stay the same. That won't be increased at all. New low body weight this morning as well, 80.3. Lean bean. That is light, isn't it? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Welcome back to another unboxing with PM Coaching. This time I already know exactly what's in the parcel because I've already looked. I got too excited. It's my tanning stuff for the photo shoot. All ordered from Compaq. We have got the tan itself. I've gone for the Pro Tan Overnight Competition Color Base Coat. We've got Get Buffed Pre-Tan Exfoliating Body Scrub. I need to start doing this two to three times a week this week and next week to make sure the basically like, so this goes on my skin better. I don't really know, but I've been told to do it. We've got an application sponge, some gloves, and they also sent me a protein shaker. How kind. It's all getting exciting now, isn't it? I'm gonna take you for a full day of eating on a rest day. Macros for today are 180 grams of protein, 75 grams of fat, and 250 carbohydrates, which equal around about 2,500 calories. Meal numero uno is going down. We have got four of the blue eggs, because they are the ones, 200 grams of mixed veggies, two bacon medallions, all mixed together into this beautiful Deliciano, bowl, I will put a little bit of low sugar, low whatever it's called, ketchup on top as well. Meal one, mate. There's nothing better than a little midday monster, is there? Going for the white one today. Not my favorite, but... It's still good. The best one's the blue one, then the green, then the white, then the orange, then the red, then the purple. Comment in the comment section below what you think are a favorite. List them. Go best to worst. I, I'm getting to the point now in this prep where energy levels are so low. I said I was speaking to someone today about it. I was like, I'm struggling more physiologically than I am psychologically. A lot of people struggle with diets psychologically. It's like they 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 feel like the cravings are really high and they want to just overindulge and they're really struggling with that side of things. But for me, it's not that like, I'm psychologically strong. I can, I can just crack on with it mentally, not a problem at all. Very highly focused with it all. It's just the physiological factors. And I'm just, I'm so tired. I'm so drained. Like every day I'm just like having to sort of like put one foot in front of the other to go get my steps. And I've just gone for a walk with a mate. I've done... 10,300 steps and I am absolutely exhausted now. I just want to drink this and lay down for a bit. But it's getting hard, but it's going to be hard, isn't it? If it was easy, everyone would be shredded. So the shorts I'm thinking about wearing for the photo shoot, I got these light blue ones from Gymshark, which are pretty nice. They're quite long, which isn't ideal, but no, they're all right, aren't they? And they also got a pair from ASOS, which are much shorter and very pink. When I when I looked at them online, I was like, oh, they, they, they look like a nice colour. When they came, they're like luminous pink, but they will do. <sighs> so, 
these are the two ones I'm going to wear. I'm also going to wear a black pair of shorts as well, just like a plain black pair. I need to get some shoes sorted. All these little things. Meal two is served. I have got 145 grams of salmon on a bed of veggies, 200 grams to be precise, of vegetables. We've got 100 grams of Thai jasmine rice with a bit of ketchup over the top. Bon appetit. This light that I'm using and also this new Joby, not the new Joby, but I bought myself a Joby 3K tripod. Such a good purchase, I'm so pleased with them. I'm using them all the time and the lighting's so much nicer in the videos. It's gonna make your viewing experience better. It's just, it's just good. Digestion update. In the last video we touched on the subject of I was struggling with large amount of bloating, really gassy, a little bit of constipation, which aren't things you want to run into when, when, when doing a prep and, and being sort of two weeks out from a photo shoot. So we tried loads of things, then we started implementing a low FODMAP diet. I went through that in a little bit more detail what a, a low FODMAP diet is and what it sort of includes. So if you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. It's in the, 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 the video before this one. And things have become a lot better. We sort of got the other side, other process, not, not like the constipation side of things, but the, the more diarrhea side of things now, but not like really loose. But I'm diving into this, is getting deep, isn't it? I don't think you want to hear about this. But let's just say I'm going to the toilet more frequently now. It's still a little bit gassy, nowhere near as bloated. I'm not waking up with like pains in my stomach. I'm not waking up bloated in the morning. I, I feel like so much better, which is cool. So we're, we're gonna continue with a low FODMAP for a while, then slowly start introducing things back in that, that we think that would be okay. For example, you can't eat an avocado within a low FODMAP diet, but I'm 99.99% sure that I can, my, I don't, an avocado doesn't cause me any gastrointestinal stress. So we'll start increasing, including some foods back in. What we think one of the biggest things that causes me gastrointestinal stress is stuff like garlic, stuff like chili, and also I was using a whey concentrate. I was using the MTS whey, machine whey, the red velvet, the red velvet one, and we think that was one of the biggest things which was causing me sort of like such bad bloat. So we swapped that out for a whey isolate. Now I'm using the Yummy Sports whey isolate, the peanut butter cut one, which is actually really decent. So yeah. Gut update. Things are getting better. Meal four is served, and it's actually, meal four? Meal three is served. It's actually my favorite meal out of all of them. So we've got 100 grams of chocolate flavored cream of rice, 40 grams of the whey isolate peanut butter per cup. We've got 100 grams of frozen blueberries, 100 grams of frozen raspberries, two squares of the green and blacks dark chocolate with the hint of salted caramel, and also some the sweet from chocolate salted caramel shot. This meal is honestly so good because I've got such a sweet tooth and it just hits it right on the spot. Perfecto. It's starting to get pretty lean now. This is definitely the leanest I've ever been and, I, and I'm and I need to stop being so hard on myself. I keep on thinking I'm not lean enough, I could be pushing more, but I just gotta enjoy these last couple of weeks. And I've already achieved something at the, uh, like already, like this is the leanest I've, I've ever been, and that's an achievement within itself, and I'm just gonna bring a better package in two weeks time when I, when I, when I, when I do the photo shoot, I'm gonna look even better than I do now. I, I feel pretty depleted and I'm, I'm happy in how I look. So once we fill me up for the carbohydrates, get a pump, get a tan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna look great. And it's funny, isn't it? Like, uh, you can't just compare yourself to other people, but I know once I finish the photo shoot, I have ticked every single box, every single day throughout this whole prep. The prep will only be like, nine and a half weeks, which isn't long at all for a photo shoot prep. Most people will die down for like 16 weeks. I've done it in nine and a half weeks or so, I think it'll be. But like, don't get me wrong, I could have done longer and I, and, I could, I, and I could have got leaner. But it was sort of just a 
sporadic sort of decision I made as a call is to a photo shoot. I'm pretty lean, why not? And then I booked it for the end of the month and we're like, let's just, let's just dig as hard as we can. And I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased now how I look and I know it's going to look even better on the, on the other day. I just got to just enjoy it now. And yeah, I know that once it's all over, there's not been one box I haven't ticked, which is, which is the most important thing. Mother, tell the YouTubers, the viewers, what you're going to make post diet for me. I am going to make for pudding, I'm going to make the Lotus Biscoff cheesecake and the red velvet cake. I am literally so buzzing for them. Mum's Biscoff cheesecake. It's brilliant. Oh. Yes, yes, finishing off the macros for the day with meal number four. We have got 160 grams of 5% beef, 200 grams of mixed veggies, and 90 grams of jasmine rice with, it's not like a little bit of ketchup, the low salt, whatever ketchup, less salt and sugar ketchup. And for fat sauce, I've got one, two squares, one strip, I think it's called, of the green and black salted caramel dark chocolate. The reason I would normally have avocado with this meal, but avocado is one of the high FODMAP foods, so I had to remove it, but hopefully I'll be able to bring it back in soon. Meal four. Ladies and gentlemen, lads and ladettes, that is a full day of eating on a rest day. I will put the final calories and macros of the day on the screen. I hope you've enjoyed it. Gives you a bit more of an insight on what I consume on a rest day while doing a photo shoot prep. I'm gonna end the video here because I need to go into the shower and get buff. Start to exfoliate myself for the first time, two to three times a week for like two weeks before the shoot. And that is all for today, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, you know what to do. Smash that goddamn like button. And if you haven't already, and you're watching this, and you've got a YouTube account, and you haven't subscribed, that little red box is still red. Press the goddamn subscribe button. Cheers, guys.